Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. All right, thanks, Luis, and welcome back, everybody. I'm Weatherman Dustin Staples, and we hope you enjoyed your weekend and managed to stay cool. Boy, was it toasty and just extraordinary warm out there. Uh, again, this was our second heat wave that we did see, uh, and we have seen this summer in our area, so just keep that in mind if you're counting how many uh, heat waves we've seen. This is number two that just recently wrapped up, and right now it does appear that there's not no more high 90 high temperatures expected at this time. However, though, we will still have temperatures like in the low to mid 90s coming for the foreseeable future as well. So I don't want you to think we are completely done with those 90s for now. We do see some of those potentially maybe coming back this week, but maybe not as prolongedly lived as we saw this past week. So hope you managed to stay cool and find some AC and cool out for a little bit. Now let's get back to another week work week as we're wrapping up July. It's hard to believe August is just a week from uh, tomorrow. So just believe that or not the first of August is on the heels of us and also, that means kiddos get ready to get back to school. I know you don't like that S word right now. And so but anyway, hope you managed to have an enjoyable summer so far. If you've been able to avoid the heat, we'll talk about the drought here again. This is our color coordinating here. And so far, our area is luckily pretty good at this moment in time. Again, just a sliver right outside of the county, Pennsylvania County. This is going towards South Hill Emporia right here in the southern part of Virginia. They're seeing a bit of a moderate drought. Same along the uh, Blue Ridge Spine, along the Allegheny Highlands up towards uh, Hot Springs, just out up north of Lexington and Roanoke counties. Again, that's a nor that's a two right there. Again, a one for some of our hometowns outside of Virginia. So just keep that in mind. That will begin to change, I guarantee you, because we have a lot of rain coming this week and uh, it's looking to be unsettled to put that as so unfortunately if you had some scheduled things outdoors just do know that that they may get washed out for the rest of today if you haven't seen showers maybe you have seen some rain uh, passing by this afternoon we may see a straggling shower or storm possible tonight we may remain barely cloudy mostly department mostly cloudy skies tonight with a calm wind expected remaining very muggy and warm out there so not much relief in the humidity as uh, you thought it was a little bit cooler noticeable on Saturday but no longer are those uh, this week is going to be muggy and tropical uh, pretty much as we head towards the next several days here's some other area overnight lows again upper 60s low 70s for everybody a stray shower or storm possible can't be rolled out later towards the midnight hour those storms and showers will begin to shut down as uh, the uh, activity of the, a lot of the warmth will be losing uh, through much of the day our friends here in the city of Martinsville Henry County again scattered storms tomorrow a rent a wash rinse and repeat uh, pretty much every day you'll notice that in the five day in just a second temperatures in the upper 80s so the better chance of scattered storms tomorrow thanks to a lingering uh, storm system as you see some air area wide temperatures now the caution symbols out there not because it's going to be hot but because, because some of these storms could contain some gusty winds and some pea sized hill out of this and also a flood threats also potentially in the making this week as well thanks to it being so dry and we haven't seen a lot a lack of rain over the last several weeks we are in desperate need of rainfall as well so I don't want you thinking uh oh every day I got to cancel my activities just do know this is summertime. This is what we expect to get these typical afternoon shower storms. But the only difference with this week is that we have a unsettled uh, pattern that's overtaking pretty much the entire uh, mid Atlantic and the Ohio River Valleys in the southeast states as well right now. So what, what's happening here? This flood threat is possible. I'm not gonna, I'm not saying every day we're going to have a flood concern. It's just the potential of this week, thanks to this area of disturbance and this cutoff low pressure, a frontal boundary is pretty much draped across much of the United or much of the East Coast and Mid Atlantic states. And what's going to be happening with that that storm that frontal boundary system is going to be bringing rain each and every afternoon closer to us. But again, the warmer stays on Thursday, but will probably not be that warm if we see more cloud cover. Our temperatures will be in the upper 80s, but again, we may see a near 90 degree high temperature on Thursday. So right now, each and every afternoon is a potential that we may see some heavy rain. The main concern again is going to be flash flooding. Some of these storms could contain some gusty winds as well. So I know it's been so dry. We 
we haven't had like a consistent amount of like days of thunderstorms of rain. But if you remember back early at the beginning of this month, we kind of had that similar setup where you got afternoon thunderstorms. They kind of do their own thing and diminish, whereas this could potentially be an ongoing all uh, during the day and evening nighttime event too. So just keep that in mind as you're making your week uh, plans. Do know you want to have uh, some scheduled stuff indoors and the best time to get anything done as we told you last week is going to be mid to early morning hours because after the lunchtime hour and pretty much through the rest of the evening afternoon and evening hours that's when things do begin to come unsettled to put at least out there as well so thursday going into the weekend depending on how this frontal boundary moves if it moves for the north we may lower our rain chances right now some of the computer models are hinting that that frontal boundary may stay and linger into the upcoming week right now so right now we're in a situation where we got to pay close attention to where and how much that uh, rainfall adds up and where we stand on each and every afternoon being a wet to put Lisa say so again tomorrow low to mid 80s again our warmest days on Thursday right now we may see the heaviest of the rain arriving on Tuesday maybe into Wednesday at this point in time and again Thursday going into the weekend does appear it will cool off a little bit that's noticeable right there that uh, 81 is uh, very nice but it's still going to be muggy and pretty humid out there say so this week a copy co a carbon copy wash rinse and repeat kind of week is in the making for us uh, as each and every day we have the potential for seeing some strong storms uh, again, the main concern this week will be flooding and potentially some high winds uh, out there each and every afternoon. So just keep that in mind as you are having things outdoors. I know you want to do some grilling and you want to do some summer celebrations. So if you're one of those that want to hit the pool, try to get it in early in the morning before the sun and before the storms uh, start rattling uh, your afternoon uh, activity. So just keep all that in the back of your mind as well. So other than that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound like a broken record every day. I'm sorry about that, but you know what? though that's what you get for living in the summer months here in Virginia we get those typical afternoon heating of the day as that heat and instability kind of does its own little thing and then produces those scattered shower storms the only difference this week like I said a frontal boundary is going to be draped across our area giving us daily chances of showers each and every afternoon main threat flooding and those high winds so keep that and uh, as you're making your week plans do know we'll talk about the weekend a little bit closer uh, hopefully this uh, frontal system begins to exit out of our area we can kind of get some drying out because we do need rain but also too much rain can hurt our, our crops and our, our harvesting as some of you know you maybe you have neighbors or maybe yourself even are trying to figure out when is the best day to get out there and start uh, get in the fields to get those plantation growing I know there's some parts of southern Virginia that have some of that tobacco and that corn growing right now and the tomatoes and things of that nature so you have been heading your own water this past week thanks to the high heat this week, Mother Nature is going to help you out. All right, enough of my time here. Thanks so much for watching BTW 21 News. Head to our Facebook page. Uh, stay updated with latest information. Head to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a $100 gift card. That's youtube.com forward slash BTW 21 News. While you're there, if you don't if you don't know, type in that whole address, just go to youtube.com in the search bar. Search up BTW 21 and you'll find our logo. Hit the subscribe button and I believe there's a bell option you can hit there so you, can be, so you won't miss any of our videos that we do post each and every week. Take care, everybody. We'll talk again on Tuesday. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.